Wait, 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 wait. Wait, we gotta do a glute check. We gotta do a glute check before we hit the gym. What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Jay. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five must do exercises that have grown my glutes. I'm 100% sis, 100% sure that it's gonna grow your glutes as well. So definitely stay tuned. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, we gotta do a glute check. We gotta do a glute check before we hit the gym. Let's get into the glutes, like, don't play with her. Let's get into the gym. I'm about to show y'all how to get a dumpy, okay? <laughs> Let's get to it. Okay, so I already did other glute activations off camera, but I'm gonna show you one of the glute activations that I like doing before I actually go into my workouts, and it's hip abductors. So I like to go in with a heavy resistance band, cause sis, listen when I tell you. <laughs> if you're really trying to get a dumpy for real, like really follow what I do. This burns so bad, but it's so worth it. In the, in the end, it's worth it. I know you probably like Jay. Well, how many do you do, sis? I do like 15 on each side. Like 15 on each side does me justice and it's gonna do you justice too. Cause together we're gonna grow a what? Let's say it together, a dumpy, period. <laughs> See, look, I told y'all that stuff burn. Like it burns so bad. I got a love hate relationship with that heavy resistance. And next, y'all, when I put these gloves on, I swear I feel like I'm a little power lifter. But anyways, so I was supposed to do these RDLs on the squat rack itself, but it was so many people in the gym. I know it don't look like it, but it was taken, so I had to do it on the Smith machine. So sis, you got to learn how to improvise when you're, when you're in the gym. Just because somebody took up your machine, your station, don't mean you can't do the workout. Anyway, let's get into the nitty gritty. So I love doing these RDLs and this is what changed my glutes a lot as well. So the main focus here is keeping the weight close to your body and squeezing your glutes. You wanna make sure your glutes are engaged the entire time. It is not easy because if it was, a whole bunch of other people would be in the gym right with you, but it's not so keep going like you got to be your own cheerleader for real so next i'm about to go in with my lunges and like i said before the squat rack was taken up so i don't have just a bar so you know i had to improvise uh, like i said before and just do it on the smith machine so i did get this cushion that i have in my hand off of amazon it says fit girl y'all is super cute y'all have to get it i'll leave a link down in the description below because sometimes gyms don't have the cushion so i mean you gotta bring your own and then i got these clamps off of amazon as well y'all they're super helpful like it comes in clutch so i'm gonna have to leave that link down below as well so y'all can order y'all some too because there should be no reason why you don't have a cushion and why you don't got the clamps at the end of your weight sis just taking a weight and i'm putting it on the ground because my front leg my front foot will be on that plate and when you're elevated too you have a a, a deeper range of motion uh, than you would if you were just having your feet just placed on the ground. And I just like doing this. You don't have to, but this is just what works for me. And I just go in with my lunges. Y'all, this stuff burns so bad. Mm hmm sister. <laughs> Let's get into the form, though. It is immaculate. Like, when you're doing a lunge, you should have that 90-degree angle in your front leg. It should be no reason why I go anything lower or anything higher than 90 degrees. And then I like to go in with my resistance band. This is a heavy resistance. And I also got the resistance band off of Amazon. It came in like a pack of three light, medium, and heavy resistance. And I need the heaviest of the heaviest, okay? But sis, listen, to get that dumpy for real, 
<laughs> to get that dumpy hip thrust is your best friend and i know y'all see people do hip thrust a lot but trust me it works like i went from flat to fat with this exercise and I like having the resistance band around my legs because it keeps me restricted. It just keeps my legs aligned and I like having my head tucked as well. And I just like to do about 10 of these and then I superset and do pulses and the burn y'all, the burn is burning. I'm telling y'all like I absolutely love hip thrusts but I hate them at the same time because out of all exercises, why this one got to be the one that burn the most? <laughs> Look at my face, y'all. See ya. Uh-uh. Dead. I am dead. Like, this is this, this my best friend, though. This is my go-to. Like, if, if anybody switch on me, I know the hip thrust will not. I got to do cable kickbacks, y'all. And I got these ankle attachments off of Amazon. So, I'll link it in the description as well. Super cute. It says Fit Girl 2. And I just like having these because some gyms don't have enough or they just don't have the right ones at all. So it's good to have them. And then next I'm just going in with my cable kickbacks. Y'all, this was like, this probably like top three and not three. Like, I don't know. Like, if I was to choose between hip thrusts and cable kickbacks, nah, hip thrusts still number one. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, this one is, yeah, top three for sure. Top three. Key to this exercise is keeping your core engaged, keeping it tight, and squeezing your glutes as you kick back. And you're gonna definitely feel it in your booty. Like, this help your booty sit up. Like, if y'all want that cuff under your booty, baby, this is the exercise. And then I just do the other side. And what Megan say, body yada 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 yada. Y'all, y'all don't understand how far my body has come, and in the humblest way, y'all, in the humblest way, I just can't believe. Like because of the gym, because of my diet, my diet first, and then the gym, I was able to grow my glutes like this. And for a long time, I just couldn't gain weight, and I'm just so happy that I found the right exercises that'll help me reach my goals. And if you follow these exercises, you can too, sis. But you got to eat. Like, it really starts in the kitchen for real. And y'all going to hear me say that forever. Look at me. It burned. I'm already knowing. That was that setup. <laughs> I'm setting y'all up whole time. Y'all don't even know what y'all getting yourself into. Fooling around with me. Watching this video. And last but not least, love and hate relationship. Ding, ding, ding is the freaking winner, y'all. Bulgarian split squat. So I like to sit on my foot and then extend my leg out. Cause it's better than to just feel around a bench and try to find you know what's comfortable this is the best way to do it so i like to go in and do these these burns so bad <laughs> so bad but so worth it in the end but that wraps up this video make sure y'all leave comments down below and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel because we about to come with some heat okay summer is approaching and we got to get them bodies right so thank y'all so much for watching and see y'all in my next video